G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now, Copilot is coming or may already be available to you in your OneDrive for Business, and it's allowing us to do a few things across your files. So we can see on the screen here that I'm in my OneDrive for Business, and I've got three options when I'm selecting a document. You can see that I can summarize, I can create an FAQ, and I can even ask a question of this document. Now, this is just a single file. Now, what if we had multiple files and we wanted to get some summaries or compare documents or even ask questions across multiple different documents? Well, we can also do that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to create a document. All right. So let's create a brand new document. Now, I'm going to create a business case for the implementation of Copilot. So I'm going to, I've got a blank document here. Uh, can you please uh, write a um Write a business case for the implementation of Copilot. So let's write a business case and then we will do so I and mean, we'll make use of Copilot in OneDrive to do a couple of things and compare uh, the contents of uh, these both these business cases uh, inside of OneDrive. So we're generating our content. We're just going to keep it as stock standard here and we'll just click on keep. So Next up, let's have a look and we'll go back into our OneDrive for Business and we'll have a look in our business case folder and what we'll see is we've got two files now. So I've got a business case for the company infrastructure renewal program and strategy and we've also now got one for the implementation of Copilot. So now if we select two files, we can come up here and look at Copilot and we can go summarize. So let's have a look at this functionality. So we've got two files selected and we're going to generate a summary of both files. All right. So you can see here's the summary coming out um, and the summaries of each file. And we've got uh, the first summary for the infrastructure renewal. And then we've got the summary for the implementation of Copilot. And we've got the objectives and benefits and things you would expect from a summary. We can then go even a little bit of a step further. We can ask a question, right? So we can see we've got our business case uh, and let's just narrow in on um, uh, let's have a look at the co-pilot one. So let's look at the benefits. So can you tell me more about the benefits benefits of co-pilot? And we'll ask it that question. So now it's going to have a look at the uh, document in, reg in the context uh, here. We're going to look at COPE, the Copilot business case. And you can see that we're come, we've come back and we've got some answers all around our benefits. Okay. Now we can also, you'll notice, uh, select the document. We can also uh, create an FAQ. So let's have a look here. I've selected the Copilot business case here. Now here are some auto-generated FAQs for me. So what's the main objective uh, of implementing Copilot? What are the key benefits? How does Copilot enhance uh, efficiency? And it's, it's given me the answers based on the contents of our business case. Now that's all well and good. We're in OneDrive. Now I'm gonna show you something here that allows us to do the same thing inside of SharePoint, okay? Over, our, over a SharePoint document library. Now, if I go onto my employee onboarding site, and I'm gonna jump into the document library of this site. So I'm in SharePoint, but I don't have that functionality. So there is no Copilot option in the, in the bar here. So I'll select my documents, and there's nothing there to do with Copilot. But what we can do is we can use add shortcut to OneDrive, and that's going to add a shortcut and give us access to the SharePoint document library inside of OneDrive for Business, and yep, you're probably reading between the lines here. We can then use the Copilot functionality out of OneDrive across our SharePoint document library. So if I jump into my files in OneDrive, you can see that I've got, uh, I've already added this document library to my OneDrive. So I'll open up this document library now, and these are our policies, right? So I've got a leave policy, I've got a social media policy, and when I select both of these, you'll notice that I've got access to Copilot. So I can generate summaries, I can compare files, I can even ask questions. So let's ask a question, all right? Um, let's go, what types of leave do we have? And 
by selecting these documents, it's grounded and it's going to use those documents as the source, all right? So you can see here, here are the available, um, the types of leave available, and that has pulled that from that leave policy document. So let's now have a look at, at comparing files. So we've got our two policy documents uh, selected and we'll click on compare files. So you can see it's telling me I've got two files selected, the leave policy and the social media policy. And what Copilot's going to do now is come back and give me a, a comparison table here um, and uh, present that to me in this type of format. So we can see we've got both of our documents here, we've got the title, we've got the comp comparison about the introduction, the purpose, uh, the scope and the contact information here as well. So it gives us uh, a summary and a comparison across our documents. Now, remembering these aren't in my OneDrive, these are in the SharePoint document library. So we're now able by using that add shortcut to OneDrive, be able to use Copilot across uh, our SharePoint document libraries. Now, what about, uh, let's have a look at what else we can do with Copilot here. So we can ask a question. Let's just select one document. So we'll select leave policy um, and we've got our Copilot option here and we can ask correct uh, questions directly. Let's see if we can uh, generate an FAQ uh, based on this leave policy as well. So we'll click create FAQ. It's working on the request. It's combing through the contents of this leave policy and it's going to generate then an FAQ for me. So there we go there. We've got our leave policy FAQ. What types of leave are available to us? Uh, how much annual leave are employees entitled to? We can then take that content if we wanted to and think about creating an FAQ maybe on our intranet or something like that. We've already got all the questions or the key questions already there for us. We can just grab this content and then we can uh, utilize that content for us as well. So it really does enhance and speed up that process to then take this to the next, next phase and do something with that content. So there we go. Not only can we use Copilot in OneDrive for Business by using that add shortcut to OneDrive uh, from the SharePoint interface, we can now start to use Copilot across our SharePoint document libraries as well. So I hope that brings you some value today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.